working on something totally different today. My wife, oh, this is a, I'll show you, a Kubota Z421 zero turn. My wife wanted to help with the artwork. While I was weed eating, she mowed, and I told her to get close on that side, but apparently she got close to something on this side and ripped this off. And I called up the, well, actually I got on the website looking for what this thing's called. It's called a cover discharge. And once I found that out, I was able to look up parts. And the local Kubota store over in the Grange, just 28 miles away, had two in stock. I figured the store in the Grange has two in stock. That means people break these a lot. So I have no idea how to change it. But I'm going to do that and make a video about it. So let me get the video zoomed in on the part. Yes, the cat helping. His name is Tubby. This Tubby is, well, Tubby was a fat little kitten. All right. All we have is a cotter pin over on this side. I'm just squeezing the ends together. And amazingly enough, it seems to want to come out. That's easy. No washer, no nothing. But we got this spring. So I'm thinking the best way to take care of the spring with vice grips. I can knock it off. Except it didn't knock off that way. Maybe I should go the other way. There. Okay. Didn't bring a hammer out. Feels like there's not much pressure on it. Oh, this could be a while. So how else can I relieve the pressure? I'm not sure that I can. Okay. We'll just bring it out this way then. Vice grip adjusted. There's still tension on the spring. This thing really could just explode in my face here. Hold that. Okay. The spring did not go nuts on me. So there, the old one's out. The new one is Kubota, part number. K5663-4 7110 cover discharge. It seems since they had said they had two in stock. I know there's hundreds, if not thousands, of these things out there. Kubotas. Zero turns. Was the other bag. There it is. Yep, it's the same thing. It fits. Okay, so we go on to here. This went like that. That was it. Okay. Fancy hammer here. Yes, you're supposed to use the right tool for the job. I'm not doing that. The 
because I did not. I'm going to go back inside. Cotter pin on the end. Bend the long leg around. Okay. I didn't want to go inside and get a hammer. Make this little video longer than it should have been. And I just pop that back in. There it is. Easy peasy. Okay. These parts get to go on the wall of shame with all my broken car parts. Oh, yeah. This thing does get in the way. It sticks that extra foot. I drilled a hole in my old one right here. So I took a bungee cord. And I could hold this up when I was trying to get in between places. Well, I broke the storm window on our front door doing that. So don't do that. So I'm not drilling a hole in this one right away. Anyway. Oh, yeah. This is a Boda. Z421. And again, you saw how easy that was. A pair of pliers and a vice grip. You can have all of them one pair of pliers. Hammer would have been nice too, but teachable moment for something new.